I'm Mark from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are going to be taking a detailed look at the Osprey Arcane Brief, which I have been testing for two weeks now. Check out packhacker.com for our written review. Link in the description below. Let's jump in. So right away you will notice that this does not look like your typical Osprey bag. Osprey is really known for their outdoor gear, but this is part of the Arcane line. Uh, we have also done reviews on the Arcane uh, backpack and Arcane tote, so be sure to check those out on the website. But it's a much more casual look. You know, it's more for urban use. The material, you know, is not quite that like waterproof ripstop type material you're used to seeing on Osprey. It's a very like soft um, material and it just looks a lot more casual. So starting with the carry methods here, you got these nice hand straps. So this is if you want to carry it briefcase style, uh, the messenger strap does come off if you're just bringing this from your car to the office and you don't even need the strap. You got these handles. They are folded over nylon here. Uh, there's not really a ton of padding, but as long as you don't load this bag up crazy heavy, uh, you don't really need much more than that. Now, moving on to the main carry method of this, uh, the shoulder strap. You can either wear it on one shoulder or crossbody, uh, just as comfortably. Um, you have a lot of padding here, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but underneath uh, this layer of fabric here, you kind of got uh, like edges. And so that helps it be able to kind of curve a little bit more. And so the cushion kind of curves with it just so you can keep that shape a little bit better around your shoulder. But uh, there's plenty of padding there for you, even if this bag is a little more loaded out. So if you have it loaded up heavy, you're gonna wanna use this versus the handles. Um, and it is adjustable just on the one side here. Got some metal hardware, probably aluminum. Uh, that you can just quick adjust there. And then where it attaches to the bag, you have these giant aluminum hooks here. Uh, one issue though, and again, this is such a nitpick, but just something we've noticed, is that the loop that these attach to here is pretty small, and it is actually sewn into this cover. So you got this kind of cover here to, just so you don't see it and it gives it a little cleaner look. However, if this bag is really loaded out, it pulls up on it and the loop is actually sewn to this liner instead of, well, it's also sewn to the bag, but it's uh, you know also sewn to the liner. And so it can kind of pull the liner up and kind of makes this uh, covering kind of go down. Um, so we're not quite sure why they did that because it seems like and you know I'm not a bag designer here but uh, it seems like if it wasn't sewn there it would just kind of be able to go up and down behind it but again such a small nitpick uh, don't let that stop you from getting this bag here uh, moving on to the inside we'll start with this front pocket here this one's got quite a bit of dimension to it uh, leader independent of the main compartment. So this comes off the bag a little bit more so you can really load this one up with a lot of stuff um, I've just been using this for a kind of like quick grab pocket So we just got you know a little uh, electronics case in here our uh, Fulton and Rourke cologne uh, Tom bin mask always good to have a mask and uh, Leatherman multi-tool, not TSA compliant. Make sure to take this out before you travel anywhere. Uh, but so you can see you get a lot more depth out of this pocket. Uh, you can put a lot bigger stuff in here as well. Now there's also a similar pocket on the reverse side. However, this one is quite flat. Um, we haven't put too much in this one just because you are really limited with that depth. This wouldn't be a bad spot if you just wanna have like a separate quick grab for like your wallet. Um, also to this pocket is going to be directly against your back if you're carrying it crossbody. So just something to note, you know, we've thrown, uh, just for tra or, uh, moving some gear around, you know, I've thrown some wallets in here that we've been testing, uh, just cause I need to, you know, get some more information on them later, but haven't really used it too much. 
Now opening up to the main compartment here, we'll start on the outside. Um, you got a little bit of room in the middle here just to put some extra things if you need it. You know, if you want to throw a sweater in there, if your office gets cold or something like that. Um, but you can't load this bag out too much. It's really meant for more EDC stuff and it'll, it kind of struggles a little bit when you try to pack it out too much. Um, starting on the outside here, we have three little sleeves. So this one, we just have our phone charger in here, just cause as you can see, it fits perfectly in there. Um, however, this is also the spot for the key clip. So a great spot to just toss your keys, toss them in that pocket, no problem there. And then we have these uh, pen holders. They are quite tall, so as you can see, uh, we have a tied to go pen in there and a Sharpie. And when they're in there, you know, they kind of go to the very bottom. Um, if you have a smaller pen, there's a chance you're going to kind of lose it in that pocket there. So if you do have a pen with a clip, try to clip it to the outside just so it doesn't get lost in that little pocket there. And then on the opposite side here, we got a nice zippered mesh pocket. This has kind of been our tech compartment here, just throwing a few things in there. You know, we got our AirPods and the charger for those. And then our laptop charger and cable there. So this one, oh, and an extra mouse battery because you don't want to have your mouse die. So this pocket has a little bit of depth here. Um, we've tried also putting like the mouse in there and a few other things and it just gets too loaded up and it really cuts into the main compartment here. So it's best just to keep that, you know, medium loaded with about, you know, the same amount of gear that you just saw there. Uh, and then in front of the laptop compartment, we got a nice little sleeve. Great spot for some larger headphones, you know, for video editing, you always want something you can plug in um, and you can over the ear, preferably. And then we have another flatter uh, adapter here just for anything else you need with the MacBook. And so this is also, as you can see, it's a better spot for flatter, bigger items. And then our trackball mouse. Otherwise, it stays pretty flat uh, when it's empty. And you can kind of flip the uh, laptop cover over top just to extra kind of keep it in place there. And then opening this up, we have the laptop compartment here. Not a ton of padding. This is a 16 inch MacBook, by the way. Uh, so plenty of room there to fit that. Not a ton of padding. Uh, you do have a sort of, feels like almost like a neoprene material here. So it's very soft. It's gonna be nice and gentle on your laptop, uh, which we can appreciate. There's not a ton of padding going on on the back. Again, this is really, a more EDC carry bag. Um, so you're really not gonna be able to be crazy tough on this. You know, this isn't meant to be, um, you know, dropped and, you know, gone on hikes with or anything like that. Uh, so we can kind of forgive the lack of padding there. But as you can see, overall, it is just a really simple style bag. Uh, it's been holding up great, um, as you can see here. It picks up hair pretty easy, but that's just the material. Uh, but overall, it has been a great carry. So there you have it. That was our quick look of the Osprey Arcane Brief. For more information, head on over to packhacker.com and to see best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you. We'll see you in the next video. Link down below.